good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel um, in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to install kali linux on your android phone um, i've made a video on how to install this before but for some reasons that i'm going to be showing you in this video that method no longer works so in this video i'm going to be showing you the new method of how to install kali linux and um, you know and it is going to be properly functioning on your android phone so watch this video till the end to see how this is done and to avoid mistakes um, without wasting much of your time let us get to the video so welcome back everyone um, to install Kali Linux of course the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your Tamox terminal now update your Tamox with the apt update command and after updating Tamox the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install Pirit distro and that is if you don't have it installed before so to install Pirit distro you're going to use the command apt install Pirit distro after installing Pirit distro then you're going to edit a custom script for Kali Linux installation all right do that with the command showing on your screen right now nano dollar prefix forward slash etc forward slash Pirit distro then we're going to name that file klinux.sh please do not name this file kali.sh if you name this file kali.sh the installation for some reason it is not going to work period distro already banned you know um users from installing kali with the name kali okay so make sure you save it as klinux.sh then when installing just simply type the command period distro install klinux and it is going to install kali linux okay now that um, Kali Linux has been installed, you're going to log in with the command period distro login klinux. Okay, and as you can see, we have been logged into the CLI version of Kali Linux. Now, if you want to log in easily, okay, let us assume you want to just log in by typing one command. You're going to be using the command shown on the screen right now. I'm also going to paste this command in the description so that it can be easier for you to use. You're going to use the command echo period distro login klinux okay which is the normal command for logging in and we're going to save this command in the bin folder okay now by saving this command in the bin folder we're going to save it among you know the commands with executable permission so you're going to give this command executable permission by using the ch mode plus x command most of you already know this and after this you can now log in to kali linux easily from any directory by using the command klinux okay so now that you're logged into kali linux to install the gui you are simply going to update your terminal with the apt update command and after updating your terminal you're going to copy and paste these commands on the screen and this is you know basically going to install xfce gui for you okay i'm going to be pasting all of these commands in the description below just follow everything you're seeing on your screen right now to avoid errors are you going to have the gui version of kali linux installed now setting up vnc server to set up your vnc server just simply paste these commands also okay this is a command i created a shortcut command that you know just logs you in directly to kali linux by typing the command server okay if you type this command for the first time you're going to be asked to create a password now create a six digit password verify that password and that is it you're connected to the local host one okay so just log launch your vnc application either net on x or vnc viewer you know fill in the information if you're using net on x you want to be using basic vnc as your connection type and um, local host one of course in the vnc connection setting it has to be local host one okay which means we're connecting to the local port one all right and um yeah in the vnc password it is mandatory that you enter the the password that you created ella um, on Kali linux of course the six digit vnc password you created and after this you can click on connect and you should be logged into the gui version of Kali linux without any mistakes or errors all right so um i'm guessing that some of you are curious about the you know, the thumbnail on the flyer which is the wallpaper now to change your wallpaper just simply right click on your screen click on desktop settings all right click on desktop settings and it is going to take you to the wallpaper page okay from here you can just easily select the last wallpaper that is you know how you get this wallpaper that i'm using on my screen right now and um to your terminal you can easily click on the terminal icon and choose your preferred you know terminal interface as for me i prefer the gmail terminal so 
<clears throat> I'm going to be using that and that is basically this video is just short because I just made it fast so that I can show you how to install K Linux okay the version that works right now so this is how you install K Linux on your Android phone and um, let us use the new fetch command to see the system information as you can see I'm doing this from a techno mobile okay so this is an Android phone there is no tricks here and it does not require roots okay can do this from any android phone of your choice as long as it supports tamox all right and you have enough internal storage to run this so and to the most important aspects always make sure you close your vnc server after working okay to kill your vnc server just simply use the command vnc server dash q and what we are disconnecting kali linux from is the local host one which is the port one we connected to using vnc server earlier okay so you're just going to use the command dash q then ratio one which means localhost one okay and you're going to get the um response killing x tiger vnc process success all right if you got this it means you killed it successfully so that is it for this video if you found this video helpful kindly click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications if you have any problem let me know in the comment section below i'll reply you, you as soon as i can thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye